I thank the Senator. Uh, today, the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, American governments, including most notably Venezuela. I'm going to deviate from my remarks, and I apologize uh, to my membership, but there are 360 million people and 31 nations that comprise the Southern Command, and I must say... Al-Qaeda remains our top concern. We have eliminated much of the leadership that presided over Al-Qaeda in 2001 and U.S.-led counterterrorism efforts in 2005 continue to disrupt its operation, take out its leaders, and deplete its cadre. But the organization's core elements still plot and make preparations for terrorist strikes against the homeland. We assumed our respective positions. We have been conducting oversight over this critical And despite its claim to the contrary, we assess that Iran seeks nuclear weapons. We judge that Tehran probably does not yet have a nuclear weapon and probably has not yet produced or acquired the necessary fissile material. Nevertheless, the danger that will, it will acquire a nuclear weapon and the ability to integrate it with ballistic missiles Iran already possesses is a reason for immediate concern. Our witness is Ambassador John Negroponte, the Director of National Intelligence. Mr. Director, thank you for taking your valuable time to come here today. It's a pleasure to have you. Iraqi Sunni Arab disaffection is the primary enabler of the insurgency and is likely to remain high in 2006. The movement is diffuse we expect President Chavez to deepen his relationship with Castro. He also is seeking closer economic, military, and diplomatic ties with Iran and North Korea. Which has undeniably uh, occurred in recent weeks in support of the administration's defense of the NSA.